So the Y Combinator is amazing. It's it's something that is totally inspiring to anybody who's interested in doing an incubator. They've been just amazingly successful at you know getting extremely smart people to um, do sort of you know big big companies. Um, and I did one company. I mean. I helped set up the iAccelerator in conjunction with IM Omnibod here, which was modeled very directly after the, the Y Combinator. The things that I'm seeing right now, um, which make me feel like the scene here is a little bit different, are that the, the sort of further end of the ecosystem here isn't as well developed in terms of sort of um, sort of going back from where investors get paid. There, there are fewer tech IPOs and there are fewer acquisitions. And because there's fewer IPOs and acquisitions, it means that there are fewer exits, which means that the the game for angel investors is a little bit more shaky. It, it's less clear when when they're going to get paid because they they can't. They can't immediately look around and see, you know, when they're looking at a company, they can't immediately see who the other companies are who would be interested in this company if it was successful. Um, and so that sort of got me thinking, on the other hand, creating a profitable business here is relatively easy. On a couple thousand dollars in revenue per month, you can create a business which is supporting the founders and is growing organically. Um, and so, so this is the, the scenario that I'm looking at and trying to figure out how to, um, how to support these types of businesses. Um, you know, I've, in some sense I feel the internet is, there's a large potential for a lot of small and medium sized businesses on the internet. And that maybe we can carve out a niche here of you know, building sort of small and medium sized sustainable businesses, which um, don't get acquired right away. And um, you know, may or may not do some sort of public offering, but that it's it's far enough out there that it's not sort of what the, the companies are being designed for. And so maybe we need to sort of innovate a little bit and come up with sort of a structure that, that fits this environment.